The Road Home, the new Babylon 5 animated movie, had its world premiere last night. So this feels like a good time to give you a little bit of an update on what's going on with the Babylon 5 reboot. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Like someone in need of a friend. Friend. So I've talked about Babylon 5 a couple of times. J. Michael Krasinski said he is working on a reboot, a boots up, complete, hard reboot of the Babylon 5 series. Initially, he was asked to do this for the CW. Back when a guy called Pedowitz was still in charge, a big fan of Babylon 5. Before Next Art came in and bought the network and basically brought in reality TV and golf and got rid of almost everything else. So where are we at now with the Babylon 5 revival if it isn't going to be going to the CW, which it doesn't look like it will? Well, for one, let's actually talk about how we got here. So, first of all, Babylon 5 appeared on HBO Max just uh, nearly two and a half years ago-ish, and it did very well, thank you very much. Off the back of that, it was decided by the CW that they were going to look into doing a revival of Babylon 5, a complete hard reboot. They approached JMS, who was more than happy to write a script, which he has done. And they were actually almost, almost ready to go and actually film the pilot. But then it got delayed, initially just for 12 months. But this was during the sale process of the CW and Nexstar coming in. And now... Thanks to the writer's strike and the actor's strike, it's on complete pause. No decision has been made except for the CW. The CW have basically and not very subtly said that it will not be appearing on their network. They released a list basically of shows that were being cancelled or released and Babylon 5 was not on it. With that, they released a statement basically saying that any TV show we're not renewing will be released back to the parent company. In this case, back to Warner Brothers. So basically, HBO Max and Warner Brothers put Babylon 5 back on the network for a two-year period to test the waters. They wanted to see what the interest in Babylon 5 was, and that interest was high. So they asked JMS to do the script for The Road Home, and they used their Warner Brothers animation studios to create this episode, which we're hearing is great. Off the back of that, the CW started thinking, well, let's get in on this and let's do a revival. An idea that Warner Brothers really liked. Then the CW changed hands and all of a sudden, Warner Brothers have Babylon 5 all to themselves. Now, they could put the new Babylon 5 series on HBO Max, but... About six or seven months ago, I started hearing rumours that actually they weren't going to, that they were willing to sell it to another streaming provider. Netflix, Apple were apparently very interested, or a couple of others. Now, at the time, this seemed like a very strange suggestion. No one listens to that us. Because Warner Brothers made stuff for HBO. They didn't really make stuff for other people. But then David Zaslav started to make a few announcements and basically opened the doors to Warner Brothers. They've started to actually sell shows to other networks. Disney have started doing this as well. So stuff that Warner Brothers produces that traditionally would have gone straight onto Max are now appearing on other networks, including Netflix, etc. So all of a sudden, Warner Brothers have made it very clear to the rest of the world that we're willing to make stuff and we won't keep it all to ourselves. We're willing to distribute this to other streaming services. The wars are over. We're having an armistice. And let's all actually start helping each other. Babylon 5 is possibly one of those shows that is going to go that way as well. That it will actually be sold to somebody else that's willing to pay for it. And this really is a no-brainer for Warner Brothers. They own one of the largest studios in the world. They own Warner Brothers Animation, which is just like absolutely pounding out great movie after great movie. Now, they've been doing it with Batman and Justice League, etc. for years. They're now doing it with Babylon 5. I'm hearing rumours they're going to be doing it for other franchises as well. They've got a deal at the moment with Amazon and they're doing a Lord of the Rings animated movie. So Warner Brothers are a studio for hire. 
and it's not just the animation but actually the babylon 5 live action series as well so yes this is on pause during the strikes nobody is going to be making any major decisions writing any scripts or putting anything in pre-production jms has made that very very clear we are just waiting for the strikes to end for a decision to get made and for a studio that i believe actually might be apple to take on the project because all of this babylon 5 the original series appearing on max for those two years babylon 5 the road home animated movie and now babylon 5 for the first time being released on blu-ray is not a coincidence there has been a plan the whole way check that people are still interested get some excitement and then hit us with a brand new series. And let's be honest, a hard reboot of Babylon 5? Look, we still have the original Babylon 5 to go watch, but a reimagining by JMS, and that's important, remembering the original creator is doing this. It's not somebody new. It's not somebody that's going to come and take the piss out of it. It's the original creator taking all of his experience from everything he's learned from when he did Babylon 5 the first time around, but also with modern special effects, modern stages, sound stages, etc. This could be incredibly important. This could actually be genuinely epic. A hard reboot of Babylon 5, a show I love? Yeah, it's a risk. They don't tend to go very well. But how often do they get the original creator back? Not often. And I cannot wait to see what JMS does with this. I don't actually care where it ends up. Probably won't be the CW, but I don't really care where it ends up. I will be following it. I will be subscribing to whatever that channel is. And I will be binging Babylon 5, the reboot, as soon as I get the opportunity. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. I know this is a bit of a non-update update. Really, it's what I've already told you. And obviously, we're waiting for the strikes. But it is important to keep our eye on the Babylon 5 project, to keep talking about it, and to make sure we keep the comments going and the algorithms ticking over. But I want to know what you think about the Babylon 5 hard reboot. Is that something that excites you or would you rather sort of something that was maybe an extension to the original series? You know, Babylon 7 or something. I'd love to know what you think. Get into the comments. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos appear first. And for a small contribution, you get to see them without the adverts. As always, please stay safe, guys. And I'll see you soon.